Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Shane, aka Airsmith Rules 100. Um, I just wanted to do a review on the Leopard 110 scale brushless motor and ESC. Um, the particular one I got is 4,370 kV and it's a 9 turn motor. Um, overall, it's not a bad motor. Um, in, in the box, right here, you get your instructions, obviously, and you get a programming card. And then you also get your motor, which I have right here, and you have your ESC, which is right here. Um, it's, it's not very bad. Um, the ESC, or the, the programming card is pretty nice. Um, you can do a lot of different settings. You can do, uh, your cutoff voltage, your drag brake, your brake strength, your punch control, reverse type, motor type, and your motor timing. Um, I like the setup. Um, it's not a bad setup. It's, you know, I picked it up for about 60 bucks. Um, I have a uh, Onyx 5000 mAh LiPo battery. And it was probably about halfway dead, and I was going about three quarters throttle, and I was going about 25 miles an hour. And um, the gearing is a 19 tooth pinion and an 86 tooth spur. But um, man, it'll it'll pop wheelies like crazy. But um, overall, it's not a very bad system. It's pretty decent. I mean. When you put it on your truck, very basic. You put the motor on, attach the three wires, put your ESC on. Me, what I did, I used a zip tie to hold my ESC down because it doesn't come with anything to hold it down. But um, I did that. I mean, it's got a fan. I never, I've never checked the temperatures, but for me, I know my gear or I know my motor gets too hot because of my gearing I run and where I run it and how I run it but I don't let it get super hot but um other than that everything else is stock stock tires stock A arms stock shocks everything's stock um but yeah that's my review on the leopard brushless system and have a good night YouTube